A very influential author for me is Arnold Toynbee, and he wrote a book over 50 years ago called Change uh, and Habit, The Challenge of Our Time. And in that book, he argues, and, and he's worth listening to because in 1947, he wrote an essay about uh, a civilization when it's up against the wall against another civilization has certain strategies, and one of them is, is zealotry and fanaticism. And he warns about the Muslim world and actually identifies three places where he felt, in 1947, that he felt uh, serious problems would emerge in the future, Afghanistan, Yemen, and Saudi Arabia. And that was in 1947. One of the gifts that historians bring is that they look at the future with hindsight. Because they know the past so well, they can see and prognosticate about what's, what's going to happen. But he wrote this book, Change in Habit, arguing that, that as humans we have certain habits that are very dangerous. And they're not instinctual, they're, rich, they're literally habitual. And, and, and the worst, he felt, was the habit of going to war. That this is, it's a choice, that there are other alternatives, and peoples have done other things. War is not the only solution, it's actually always a failure. Um, it's the last refuge of the incompetence, violence. So, uh, and, but he also felt uh, there were other aspects. One of them was tribalism or nationalism, and this idea of not seeing us as a human family, as seeing us as us and them. And, and this is a very dangerous habit of the mind, and if we're not trained to change these habits, and this is why virtue theory is based on altering habits, it's adopting new habits, and the human being can change. So, and it's not nature versus nurture, uh, the two work together. So this idea of nature versus nurture is, is something uh, also that's problematic. So 